If I were talking to my dog KJ, who you just saw, I'd say sit, stay. So I'm going to say the same thing to you, because you are not going to believe how over the top things can get. Think you spoil your pets? Well, until you've spent $325,000 for a dog house, make that a dog mansion, you're not even in the running. But for those of us who are pet crazy, we don't mind putting on the dog a little or a lot. Make no bones about it. Our pets are more pampered and obsessed over than ever. Cats and dogs are lapping up a rain of couture clothes, million dollar collars, elaborate houses, exercise gyms, gourmet foods, and wine. Themed birthday parties. And even private massages. Even throughout the recessionary time, people keep spending more and more on their pets. Last year, economy-conscious Americans gladly spent an amazing $50 billion on their pets, bringing cash registers from Bangor to Beverly Hills. That's where Paris Hilton's lucky dogs live it up, in a $325,000 replica of her own house, complete with a balcony, air conditioning, and a chandelier. And Paris is not alone when it comes to pet adoration. I can't even say I love him. I think I worship him. Take Lisa Vanderpump and her dog, Jiggy. Give me a kiss. He may just be the prince of pampered pooches, the king of canine couture. Well, this was for the royal wedding. He's a six-pound Pomeranian featured on the hit reality show, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And he has become a star. And he just won the Golden Collar Award for best uh, dog in a reality show. And as I said in my acceptance speech, I'm officially known as the person who carries Jiggy. <laughs> <laughs> Did his feet ever touch the ground? Well, they do. I mean, he's got three little friends here that he lives with, so he kind of, but he, he likes to be carried. He's always been that kind of little man that he just wants to be with me. How did he come about his name? Oh, Gigolo. I think, um, yes, Gigolo. Oh. Um, a little man that's paid for love and affection by an older woman. I think that's what the definition oh. was. He's like the sexy little man in my life. There's a two-legged man in her life as well. Lisa's husband of nearly 30 years, Ken Todd. He's also devoted to Jiggy. And in one episode, Jiggy caused a stir among the housewives when Ken let Jiggy drink out of a crystal champagne glass at a dinner party. Ken also helps coordinate the star canine's outfits. I just buy basic pajamas. Right. Dye them, hand dye them, and then find beads and things and have them sewn on. You, know, just, you can't what? buy things like that. They say Jiggy's wardrobe is important, designed to hide a bad case of alopecia, which causes serious hair loss. We have to do this out of necessity. I mean, this, this is where you have to close your eyes because okay. He is not going I public understand. with his nude scene. He hates being without clothes, hates it. This is supposed to be very good for him. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, now lie down, lie okay. down. People often write in and say, how can you put clothes on your dog? He needs to wear clothes, he's cold. So they think that you're being yeah, eccentric by true. putting clothes on him, but it's really an out of necessity. Oh, yeah. Oh, and Jiggy's diet care. also that befits a very special yeah, dog's life. The, the silver tray brought out lunch? just for special yes, occasions. Sir. So what's for lunch? He's got chicken and biscuits now. He doesn't want to eat it out of the bowl. He wants to be hand-fed, which is really naughty, because I don't have time to hand-feed him. What yeah. kind of joy does Jiggy bring you? I just think, look, I mean, look at that face. Oh, that face has attracted 50,000 adoring fans on Twitter. And Jiggy's not alone in cyberspace. The social networks are littered with people's pets, including Boo, the tiny pup who has over 3 million followers. You're such a beautiful little girl. How obsessed am I on a scale of 1 to 10 with my pets? I'm a 12. My wife is obsessed with dogs. They are usually her first priority from the moment she wakes up to the moment she goes to bed. Lawyer Jill Levy is inseparable from her dogs. Moses, a giant schnauzer, standard poodle mix, and Daisy, a beagle. 
she's with them so much that sometimes she calls me and my brother their names by accident. She just like squeezes them and pets them nonstop. It all begs the question, dogs or human family members? Where's the priority? I don't know if I can answer that question. Um, I think my kids have to come before anyone. Daisy and Moses and my husband Rob, not really sure. Which leads us to an issue that can bitterly divide many otherwise loving couples, whether or not to let the dogs in bed. At the Levy home, those floodgates are wide open. A lot of times when I come up, he's literally in my spot. His head is on my pillow, he's laying in my area. I usually have to kick him off the bed. Um, and then after I do that, if Jewel's already sleeping, she'll actually wake up and she'll call him back on the bed. I do spoon with Moses, yes. Yes. And for those who may unleash the opinion that Jill and untold millions like her are canine crazy, she's got to come back to do the trick. If every person in the world was loved as much as my dogs, this world would be a much better place. Oh, Petey. That's cute. Right here, Cass. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's it's it. such that's a joy to watch people on, and witness their love for their dog and the unconditional love that the dog has for them. Photographer Robin Layton has been traveling across the country, gathering material for a book, collecting testaments on their pets from both celebrities and real-life heroes, like Lieutenant Chet Frith. He was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder and says his dog, Gunner, brought him back into a more peaceful world. Layton has also shot performers like singer-actress Kristen Chenoweth. She always makes out with me, I don't know. Comedian Kathy Najimy. beautiful, soulful, wonderful thing in the world. Ooh, ooh, baby, we're going dancing with stars. And finally, even me who may just be a little obsessed with my precious Jack Russell, KJ. Who makes me talk like this? Who makes me talk like this?